Hi guys, what I'd like to do today is teach you how to find an equation when you're given two points. Now there's lots of ways that we can do this, but the way that we're going to go over today is being able to write an equation in slope-intercept form. That's the one that most people are familiar with, and so that's the one we're going to use today. Now of course slope-intercept form is written as y equals mx plus b. Now we know that m is the slope of our line, or the rate of change, and b is the y-intercept. All right? So what we need to do is find those two things. Now given two points, if I don't have the slope or the y-intercept, given two points, I can find one of those. And you should be very familiar now with how to get the slope from two points. And so we're going to do that. We're going to take the slope, which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, now the important thing as we set this up is that as we put in our values, that x2 and y2 come from the same point, and x1 and y1 come from the same point. It doesn't matter which one is 2 and which one is 1. Just for convenience, I usually call the first point 1 and the second point 2. So let's go ahead and put that in. So the y2 value would be 0 minus the y1 value, which is negative 4. And then divide by x2, which was 2, minus x1, which was negative 1. All right, so we go ahead and put that in. 0 minus a negative 4 minus a negative is positive, so that gives us 4. 2 minus a negative 1 would be 2 plus 1, which is 3. All right, so we've got 4 over 3 as our slope. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So now we've got y equals 4 thirds x plus b, right? Now, of course, we want to end up having the x and y in our equation. The whole point is be able to be able to relate the x and the y together. But since we still need this b, the y-intercept, there's a way we can do that without having to do any graphing. And that's by taking one of our points and plugging it into the equation. Remember that when we have a point on a line, the line represents the points that you can plug into the equation that make it work, that make it true. So if these points are on the line, then I should be able to put those in for x and y and then put it into the equation and it should work. And you'll notice that when I do that, and again it doesn't matter which one you put in, I'm actually going to put in this second one because I like the numbers there a little bit better, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to put 0 in for y, and then I'm going to put 2 in for x. Just make sure that these x and y values are from the same point, plus b. Now you'll notice that all the variables are gone except for the b, which means I can now solve for that b, for the y-intercept. So let's go ahead and do that. 0 equals, now when I multiply with a fraction, I'm going to put the 2 over 1. That will give me 8 over 3. Now, of course, to get the b by itself, I need to get rid of the 8 thirds. So I'm going to subtract 8 over 3. And when I do that, then I'm going to end up having negative 8 thirds equals b. There you go. So we've got the y-intercept now. So we can finally write our equation. y equals 4 thirds x. Now I'm putting y and x back as y is x. This was just a temporary switch, right? So now I've got y and x back. And then my y-intercept is negative 8 thirds. So you can either put plus negative 8 thirds or just minus 8 thirds. And so that would be our equation. Now, of course, you can check that. The way to check it would be to take the other point and plug it in for x and y and see if it really works. If it does, then you've done it correctly. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to go back, check the y-intercept first, and then go back and check the slope in case you've made a mistake there. All right, I hope that, I hope that makes sense and that you now understand how to get an equation from two points.